Okay, so I'm just gonna ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay. So less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? Um, 30%. So it's actually 10% of calor or 10% of your daily calories from added sugars actually. Um, and technically, and that's on a 3,000 calorie per day diet. So if you're consuming 2,000 calories a day, you would want to consume less than 7% of added sugar. Yeah. Okay, so number two, what is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day according to the FDA? I'm going to say 250 milligrams because that's how much a Celsius is. That's actually pretty good. Um, it says 400 milligrams. So, um, so you were, I mean, 250 is also healthy, but the limit at most is 400 milligrams. Um, but for a pregnant woman, it's 200 to 300 milligrams, which would be two to three cups per day, um, where you're like at a safe range of caffeine. Um, yeah. And then... <laughs> Number three, what is a healthy amount of drinks a day that a man can drink and then that a woman can drink? In terms of alcoholic drinks? Yes. Um, I guess I would say a man probably three beers maybe and a woman maybe two just because the size difference. I don't yeah, know. that was a good guess, um, especially with the okay. size part. Um. But the answer is two drinks um, or beers. So 12 fluid ounce can of beer is considered one drink. So two beers per day on the days that you drink, not necessarily every single day. And then for a woman, it's one. So it's just, yeah, one less than a man, one drink a day on the days you drink, not every day. <laughs> yeah. One beer. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay. Um, so um, less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? How, what percentage of, of your calories should be sugar? Uh, yes, of added sugars should you consume. Added, what's the difference in added sugars or sugars? Added sugar is sugar that is added... It's not oh, natural okay. sugar. Um, you can just zero, guess. Zero, zero, really. <laughs> Technically, that's that'd be the best. Um, the answer is 10%. Um, so you should consume less than 10% of... Like fruits have naturally... Have yes, so that's fine. But like, like a lot of processed food, you know, has added sugar. So less than 10% of added sugars for, for your mm -hmm. calories per day. Mm -hmm. um, and that's based on having a 3000 calorie intake per day. So if you usually eat, let's say 2000 calories, you would want to consume less than 7% of your calories from added sugars. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, okay, the next question, <laughs> the next question is, what is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day according to the FDA? Well, for if you don't have any, uh, for a normal person, um, is it like 300 milligrams? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. So um, with the uh, dietary guidelines, um, it says 400 milligrams technically um, is that you can like safely consume of caffeine. But for a pregnant woman, it's 200 to 300 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and that would be two to three cups per day. So that was mm -hmm. good. And then what is the healthy amount of drinks a day that a man can drink, like of alcohol drinks? And then also for a woman, what is the amount? Healthy amount? I've never thought. Um, I've heard wine improves your health before. Yeah. Um, and the second one's a woman. Yeah. So for a man and a woman. It's not pregnant. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, That's that's not unhealthy. You mean? Yeah, that's like, you know, 
like not, not super necessarily health, not necessarily healthy, but not, not healthy, unhealthy. but not like unhealthy. unsafe. Yes. Unsafe, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You can just guess. Uh, well, I'd say men, um, probably two, because if you have a third, you're going to be impaired driving. Mm -hmm. And then women, women, maybe one. Yeah, that was correct. Yeah. So for men, um, it's two drinks per day on the days that you drink, not two drinks every single day, but you can safely drink two mm -hmm. drinks and you're at less of risk for cancer mm -hmm. and cardiovascular disease. And then for a woman, it's one drink. Okay. Um, and yeah. And so like a 12 fluid ounce is one beer that would be considered like one drink, like one beer, okay. two fluid ounce, 12, sorry, not two, 12 fluid ounces. So yeah, okay. that's all. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So I'm going to ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay, so less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? Percentage? Mm -hmm. Of added sugars. I'd say 5% of your daily caloric intake. <clears throat> that was a pretty good guess. Um, the answer is 10% with a 3,000 calorie per day diet. So if you're consuming 2,000 calories a day, they say 7% or less. So that was a pretty good guess. Um, number two, what is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day, according to the FDA? 100 milligrams. So um, they say 400 milligrams, but 100 milligrams is obviously still going to be really healthy. Um, and then for pregnant women, you should consume, well, okay, no more than 400 milligrams. And then for pregnant women, no more than 200 to 300 milligrams of coffee, of caffeine, um, which is two to three cups of coffee. Um, and then what is a healthy amount of drinks a day that a man can drink and then that a woman can drink? what alcohol yes one for, for each okay that was a good guess um for men it's two um <laughs> per the day each day that you drink it's not per every day you can't drink you can't drink two days every day and be fine it's just when you do drink don't drink you shouldn't drink more than two to not increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer basically um, drinking one beer still is safer technically than drinking two beers. So that was a good answer. And then for women, it is one drink. And I was saying one beer because one 12 fluid ounce beer is their equivalence of one drink. So thank you. Thanks for your time. Okay. So I'm going to ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay. So less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? So you're asking me if I know what the answer is? Yeah. Your percentage of calories of added sugar. I have no point of reference. You don't know? No. Okay. The answer is you should consume less than 10% of your calories be okay. from added sugar when you're on a 3,000 calorie per day diet. So if you intake 2,000 calories, your less than 7% of your calories should be from added sugars. Okay. Okay, number two, um, what is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day? Two per cups day? of coffee. Okay, that was good. Um, Technically, yeah. the answer is 400 milligrams, which would be more than two cups a day. Um, which is how many? Two and a half? Three? I don't totally know. Um, I know, so for pregnant women, they say 200 to 300 milligrams per day of caffeine, which is about okay. as two to three cups. Okay. Um, yeah. And then what is a healthy amount of alcoholic drinks a day that a man can drink? And then what about a woman? Two and one. That was good. Two for the men, one for the women. You already knew that? Of course. Okay. That's good. Have you always known that? Mm, I guess. Hey, so um, I don't, I'm not good at milligrams and counting calories. Me neither. But 
My weight's good. I mean, you know. Okay. All right. That's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm going to ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay. So less than what percentage of calories per day for added sugars should you consume? Wait, repeat the question? Yeah, it's confusing. Um, so like less than what percentage of your calories per day? Like calories, what percentage of your daily calories should be added sugars? Yes. Zero? <laughs> Is that your final guess? Uh, like, 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 what do you think? What's, what do you think would be a healthy amount? Like less than like a blank percentage. Five percent or less. Okay, that was a good guess. Um, the answer is technically ten percent. I mean, five percent would obviously be, be more ideal. Um, but yeah, they say ten percent. Um, when, but that's with a three thousand calorie per day diet. So if you're consuming two thousand calories, you would want to consume. Um, your calories, like less than 7% of those from added sugar. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. So okay. that was good. Um, number two, what is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day? Um, uh, <laughs> like Celsius or Xenia, <laughs> which are horrible. Um, uh, like 150 milligrams of caffeine, 150 to 200. So... Um, it said actually like less than 400 milligrams is considered safe. Okay. So yeah, that's good. Um, and with pregnant women, you shouldn't consume more than 200 or 300 milligrams, which is about two or three cups of coffee. So Interesting. yeah. Um, and then number three, what is a healthy or a safe amount of alcoholic drinks a day that a man can drink and then also what about for a woman um I would say um one to two drinks for a man and one drink for a woman maybe that's correct that was good really? yeah <laughs> um yeah like and they say two drinks on the days that you drink for men and like so don't you like ten, I thought it was like you drink you one drink day, really right? yeah like you shouldn't it's not like you drink one day every day and you're fine it's like on the days yeah. that you choose to drink like what's safe to lower your risk of cancer and cardiovascular disease is just one drink or less for women and two drinks or less for men and a drink is equivalent to a 12 fluid ounce beer someone was wondering that too so. Or eight ounces of wine or um, one shot are all equivalent to one serving of alcohol. Nice. I know that from when I took a bartending class to be registered in the state of Florida. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Lizzie, for educating me. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to ask you three questions and just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay, number one. Less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? Can you say it one more time? Less than, okay, so like what percentage of calories of added sugars should you consume per day? Uh, 10%? That's, that's correct, yeah. But that's, um, that's what they recommend, but technically that is on a 3,000 calorie diet. Mm -hmm. So if you're consuming 2,000 calories, Less than 7% of your daily intake should be from added sugars. Mm. Um, so that was good. Okay, number two. What is a healthy amount of caffeine to consume per day or safe amount? Um, like, in, can I say in ounces? Milligrams. Mm, I wonder how many. Well, I mean, we each group cups. is different. So it's just how do you, how do you, you get You just it? say cups. Like, okay. Cups is fine. Okay. Uh, two cups. Okay, that's good. Um, they say for pregnant women, um, they should consume no more than two hundred to three hundred milligrams, which is two to three cups. But they say for the average person, it should be safe. Um, as long as it's less than four hundred milligrams, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. according to the FDA and the um dietary guidelines. I'm interview. Okay, number three. 
what is a healthy amount of alcoholic drinks that a man can drink a day and then a woman? The women wine, men too. Yeah, that was good. That's correct. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So in conclusion from those six interviews, I found that everyone for the most part guessed lower um, on what percentage of our calories should be from added sugars per day. Um, for the healthy amount of caffeine, most people as well guessed lower than what would be a healthy or safe is probably a better word, health, a safe amount of caffeine per day. And then um, almost everyone got my third question correct about what was a healthy amount of alcoholic drinks per day for a man and woman, which I was surprised about. I didn't think they would know that. Um, so overall, I think everyone did really well and actually better than I was expecting. I will say all these people I interviewed, I obviously know. And so a lot of them I would consider fairly healthy individuals. And I believe that if I interviewed individuals that I did not know who were complete strangers, I would guess they would be more likely to get some of the answers wrong more because I believe the people that I interviewed that I know are already fairly healthy. I will add that my first question that was worded less than what percentage of calories per day of added sugars should you consume? I will admit that was a confusing question and almost everyone was confused on it and that was my fault and I definitely could have worded it better to make it a better survey. So thank you.